Among the listed PSU shipbuilders, Mazacon Dock Shipbuilders is the third biggest listing that we have seen in this space. Its issue had witnessed a huge investor interest that actually saw it being oversubscribed by a whopping 157 times. Also, the stock made a strong debut on the bosses as well. Mazacon Dock shares also listed at 190 rupees on the BSE when you compare it to the issue price of 145 rupees. Now, in our ideas for profit today, we'll discuss about shipbuilding as a space which is getting attention particularly in the light of an exciting business model as well as earnings visibility and valuations as well. Three companies put together now account for a market cap of uh, a little over 10,000 crore rupees, which is one tenth of their order book of nearly 1 lakh crore rupees. Now, what's more interesting is that on average, they are trading at less than 10 times their fiscal year 2020 earnings and they offer a dividend yield of close to 5% as well. Now, while on an aggregate basis, the numbers are quite encouraging, here's what we really found during our deep dive into the individual businesses, opportunities, financials, as well as the other aspects of valuations. Now, commercial shipbuilding is almost dead in India. Private listed shipbuilders in particular are facing the drying up of opportunities and also financial stress. Let's talk about two of them, ABG Shipyard and Bharti Defense. Both of them are listed on the exchanges. They have actually turned from exciting mid caps to penny stocks now and uh, completely have destroyed shareholders value as well. On the other hand, PSU shipbuilding is relatively insulated, stable because of their domestic defense client, zero debt negative working capital and they have a huge order book as well. One very exciting reason to own PSU shipbuilders is that they have a very strong order book and revenue visibility, which is good enough for the next four or five years of the revenue as well. Now, Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers and also Mazagon, they both have very high order book considering their execution cycle and the delays in the execution in the past as well. Moreover, the pipeline of orders is equally strong. Industry estimates and suggest that the order book will keep on growing at a faster pace from here on. Besides, gradually because of India's strategic position advantage on the international trade routes as well, Indian shipbuilders are getting international orders along with the other ship repairs emerging as promising opportunity as well. Now, in the case of Cochin Shipyard, the margins as well as the turnaround time is quite higher because of the exposure that it has to ship repair and marginal exposure to even commercial shipping. Now, Mazacon, however, is into shipbuilding, largely critical to shipbuilding. In fact, uh, this is precisely why their inventory and receivable cycle is relatively longer. But this is the nature of the business. And also the management of these companies have indicated that they try to build these issues or leakages into their cash and also the advances. Now, this is the reason that both uh, GRS, uh, SE as well as Mazacon uh, have very high cash as a percentage of net worth. They both generate uh, relatively higher other income as well as the overall return on equity also gets quite compensated. Now, they hold significant amount of cash uh, in the business. They are largely on account of, say, uh, consumer advances as well and most of the cash uh, which gets generated also has higher other income which is usually used as a shield against delays and also working capital issues. Now we do believe that coaching shipyard is relatively more efficient in deploying cash and also taking remunerative capital allocation decisions say paying higher dividends. Now valuation is a function of efficiencies, visibility, returns and also the other aspects of the business. While all three of these PSU shipbuilders are still trading at attractive valuations when you talk about Mazagon Dock and also Cochin Shipyard, they are still cheaper and that's because uh, particularly from the point of say strong dividend yield. Thus Mazagon Dock and Cochin Shipyard on a relative basis remain more compelling in the near term for investors. 